Hello and welcome to another episode of Life Talks with Christoph. I'm your host, Christoph, and um, today we're going to be talking about a very familiar subject but often misunderstood, and that is God's grace. And I wanted to illustrate that with a little story, but uh, before I do, I'll share a, a scripture that you may or may not have heard, and it's in Ephesians chapter 2 and verses 8 and 9. It says this, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this, not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. So it says that grace is a gift from God. He gives it to you. Well, back in the 1980s, ancient history for some of you, um, I went on my first plane trip, and it was with a mission group of about eight of us, and we were going to the Philippines. And we were leaving the airport in Denver, Colorado, and we were doing all our things at, at, as a group. And so we got all of our boarding passes together at the ticket gate and went to our boarding gate. And then it was time to board the plane. Um, everybody gets their boarding passes and hands it to the stewardess there and enters. It comes to my turn. I cannot find my boarding pass. I'm looking everywhere. I'm not seeing it. Meanwhile, there are just trying to figure out what they're going to do and all the rest of the passengers are boarding the plane. The plane fills up. There's no seats left. And we're just thinking, okay, we've got to fly from Denver, a, a stopover in San Francisco, then on to Hawaii and then to the Philippines. And obviously we don't want our group separated. And there I am, no boarding pass, what are we going to do? The plane fills up completely. and. The stewardess comes back and says, well, we know you're with this group. Um, we'll figure out what, what to do here. They ended up bumping somebody from the flight. And I don't know if they were compensated or not, but they bumped them for me. And there were no seats left in coach. I end up in first class. So there I am alone in first class feeling incredibly guilty. and. We take off that way and everything is, is fine. And as I'm opening up my Bible just to do a little bit of reading, what do I find? My boarding pass that entitled me to the coach section. And here I am sitting in first class. And also with the knowledge that somebody got bumped from the flight to make room for me. And I'm thinking to myself, I don't belong here. This is not, this is not fair for me to be here. The stewardess comes and she offers, you know, the first class amenities and offers me a, a soda and a nice glass and all these things. And I, I kind of whispered sheepishly to her. I said, I, I'm not supposed to be in first class. I, I didn't pay for a first class ticket. And she just smiled and she said, um, it's okay. You're in first class. This comes with first class. And the whole time I kind of wasn't able to enjoy myself because why? Well, I'm thinking, I don't deserve this. I'm not supposed to be here. I haven't paid for this. I didn't do anything to earn it. Um, why? Why? I can't take advantage of this goodness. So all the while I'm in first class, I'm not taking advantage of first class amenities. And that's the same way it is with grace and many Christians who are in the family of God, but feel like, I don't deserve God's love. I don't deserve His grace. I don't deserve His goodness. Well, friends, I want to tell you that you don't deserve it. You didn't earn it. You're not good enough for it. But it's not about you. That's the good news. It's not about what you've done to earn it. It's what God has done for you through Jesus Christ. It says it's by grace that we are saved through faith. Not of works, not anything that you've done, but it's all about what God has done for you through Jesus. It's a struggle, but I look back on that time so many it's decades ago now, but remember it vividly. There I was in first class feeling guilty that I don't deserve this. If you're walking with the Lord and, and just feeling guilty and reminded of all the things that you do 
that keep you from entering in. I want to encourage you. God wants to bless you and lavish his love upon you. Not because you're so good, but because he's so good. You have been given first class treatment by God because of his grace, his goodness, and his love for you. So the next time you feel like you don't deserve God's love, realize you're in first class. God's a first class God and he gives you first class love. Don't feel embarrassed, don't feel timid, but just say thank you and take advantage of the first class blessings that God has for you. I'm Christoph Pont. This has been Life Talks with Christoph. I want to encourage you to subscribe below if you haven't already. Hit like and if you've got some comments, I'd love your feedback and, and we can dialogue on that later. You have a blessed day and remember, God is a first class God and you're in first class with Him. So take advantage of what He has for you. Till next time, we'll see you later. Bye-bye.